We Ladies do. and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome back to the Moth Company. <laughs> again. Again. Uh, thank you for joining us again. And I think we're going to get right into it, unless anyone has any strange noises to make right now. I have no idea what you're talking about. No? No idea what we're talking about. Okay, cool. No. So, in case you missed it last session, we had a very interesting time at the lovely Wrath Tree Estate. The most scenic place to be. Uh, we met our friend yeah, Olivier. Lovely the estate's groundkeeper and possible ferret wear, or probable ferret wear. Probable. Definite. Yeah, ferret wear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you had killed the flint that killed your family, or at least your brother, and confronted some of the issues that come with being an elf murderer. Yeah, war <laughs> crimes. Uh, so after I'm that- start right off with that. Uh, yeah, we should have just led with the war crimes. With the war crimes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so after that, I suppose, we, of course, we have to deal with the elephant in the room, which is the impending siege of the Ironclad Army of the Revisionists. Now, you guys have a little bit of time before the Ironclad Army arrives, as they are currently destroying your home and setting it to the torch. Uh, so we'll get into that. Through the holes in the walls, the empty window frames, the, the flickering glow of the spreading flame casts the Wrath Tree home in a dire state. In the foyer where you're all standing, the mass of gleaming armor is far off in the distance, stopping to tear apart anything that stands, setting the land to the torch. Though the armor column is swiftly approaching, they give you a little bit of time, just about an hour, for any preparations. Would you like to sum up what you're doing during that time? Okay, so, first of all, I'm going to cast Cat now. It is an enchantment spell. Yep. Okay. So, ten minutes becomes one hour. You are all able to restore your hit points, which we have done. Yeah. Except me, because I'm off being angsty. Yes. Aragon, okay. what are you up to right now? I'm setting fires. Yes. <laughs> so you have wandered through the house, setting fires upon anything that seems vaguely elvish related. But you've, your eye has been caught by a particular painting of a clearing that looks very familiar to you. There's a graceful elk standing in this clearing, and the painting has been framed, though it was clearly done by a child, or perhaps an amateur. Okay, I'm going to cut the painting out. Okay. Take it with me. Sick. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Maya, of course, there is an approaching army. Is there anything you'd like to prepare for in that? Uh... Going to see what traps I might be able to rearm. Okay. And find a vantage point. Awesome. Kato? Um, I take out a little vial of brackish fluid, <laughs> <laughs> take off the cork. And knock it back. All right. It's so, mind flare blood. It is mind flare blood. Wait, I, I'm still in. Am I still in the foyer? You're still in the foyer, yes. And you see Kato knock back mind. Flare I blood. see it. Um, so as you knock back the mind flare blood, your your senses have been heightened. Okay. You feel as if you have a connection, a dim, very fuzzy connection to everything else in the world, and a special connection to your eye. What the fuck did you do? As well as that, as you drink it, your neck turns purple as the fluid works its way down. We need every advantage we can get. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> Meta. Okay, I'm gonna go find Aridin. Alright. Uh, so, so you guys, you know, approaching army, we're all gonna die. Woo! Yeah. So you find yourself wandering through the house. Clearly there have been set up small passive-aggressive fires flicker their way. I would say setting fires is just aggressive. Okay, just aggressive I, I do fires. still try to stamp them out so the rest of the house does not catch on fire. You do manage to stamp them out, though your parents' bed is not stampable outable, and you find yourself throwing it out the window into the <laughs> courtyard with a very large oak tree, which has a figure sitting beneath it. I, okay, I, I go down. I um, go and I sit. A ways away, I just, I know I cannot say sorry, not because I don't want to, but because it would not cut it for myself or anything that my family has done. I, I am sorry. And if there's anything that I can do to make it up to you, I would. We could stop wearing their crest. And I take it off, and I throw it over the wall. All right. So, Yorani, you take your new ring off and toss it onto the battlements, throwing it away and casting off your previous obligations. 
uh, Maya, you see a ring, you see Irani and Erdem in the courtyard as you ascend the tower. You have managed to lock the door gate outside of the estate, as well as found a few bags of caltrops that you have spread around the place. Uh, I'm just gonna. So on top of the tower. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> a, salt, a salt shaker. I, I, uh, I am gonna open the front door and stand on the front steps with my sword. Yeah, just kinda... With your fucking cape er, billowing? Yeah, uh, uh, sit on the front steps. Okay. So I'm like. Okay. So you're hanging out on the front steps with your sword, uh-huh. and you can see there's a bashing starting at the gates. Boom. Oh, I Boom. also cast Enhance Ability. Thank um, you. Oh, how kind of you. Yeah. On, on Constitution, right? So I have advantage on Constitution checks? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Is it just checks, or is it saving for us, too? Um, let me so, check. Okay. Class. Saving for a kind of check? I no, so. they are different. Okay. Check uh, ability checks do not apply to saving press. Uh, yes. So Maya, you're on this tower, uh, the only tower that's left, the highest vantage point in the place, and you can see an army. Yeah, it's Constitution checks. Okay, cool. Of two hundred strong, flanked by dogs, and wearing plain metal armor. At the helm, you see the man who once bested your friend, Colleen. In addition to that, there is a thin gray man, a man with gray hair, who is standing close by. So you're just kind of sitting there. I'm just sitting there. Right. I mean, I don't see him. They haven't yeah, busted yeah, through yeah, yet, so I'm waiting. Answers. I'm waiting for him. Uh, it's very cool. I'm gonna. Okay. Um. First of all, weird question. Do I see the painting? Like, do you have it like out? Yeah, I'm probably looking at it. Okay. Do I know who made it? Well, you and your brother, you and your brother painted it. It was something that uh, you had read in a book once and been so taken with the image that you decided to paint it. It was one of your parents' favorites. I just, I give a small smile and then I just, um, I'm gonna go look for traps or anything so, you know, we're a bit less likely to die. I'll come with you. All right, so you two interlace <laughs> hands and go look for weaponry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do know where it is, and so I say, um, actually, you might want to wait out here for a moment. Oh, oh okay. Oh, only because there's not good stuff down there. I really have to clean out the basement when I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it's was bad. Worst. Yeah, it was, it was very bad. You also did kick my brother's bones, so. I was upset. I do understand. It was the heads. I, yeah, I also was pretty upset by the heads. There were a lot of them. I know, there were a lot of heads. <laughs> I tried taking them down, but then, you know, sort of almost died. Yeah. yeah. It's very interesting. Uh, it's very interesting. interesting. Interaction. Uh, interaction? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything else prescient? So you guys are looking around. Mm-hmm. And you have gone downstairs and found a project that your dear old brother was working on. Okay. Now, he was small. He did have his pet projects. And when in the corner of the room, next to a wall of halberds, is one of them. Covered by a sheet is a human figure. You tear off the sheet and cough on the dust a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a half-finished construct with a shield mounted upon its arm that meets in a wicked-looking point. And it's just kind of sitting there, looking like it's one of the arms is missing. It's very much a... Mm-hmm. Work in progress, but could be used to your advantage. I'm going to try and move right. the fixer up. Or... Sure. Um, so with a little bit of difficulty, you manage to short the wires and the power sources back together, and it laboriously rises to its feet, and you hear the rust kind of grinding out of its gears. Huh. I love that. And I guess I Get some WD-40 up in there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I drink my Fomorian blood, too. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're sitting there, and you realize there's another po- there's another pound of blood in here. Yeah. So you just... And shot, just shot, 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 shot! The acidic blood begins to trickle down. Listen, when you drink blood, you'll know <laughs> how good it is. How powerful it makes you. It burns your throat, yeah. and you feel it kind of... You look down, and it's kind of turned a little bit. Green and purple. I've got the, like oh, bruises on my throat. Yeah. Oh. So you have drank it, uh, and though it has 
has burned you, it has given you a little bit extra strength your way. So you will get plus one to your strength checks for the foreseeable future. Strength, like just strength in general. So your your modifier is plus is another plus one. Oh, it is damn. not a permanent. It is not a permanent buff, okay. but it is temporary. Okay, awesome, cool. And as you as you chug it down, and your vision unblurs from the painful ant blood, mm-hmm. uh, the door is. <laughs> you see it beginning to buck more and more, as it, and finally there's a, <laughs> and the chain breaks on it. The door falls flat. Um, and the flames, but you can now see outside are towering and tearing around you, uh, give way to another sight. Slowly but surely, the armored column begins to work its way through the gate and spreads out through the courtyard. A few things are burned here and there, some lanterns are knocked over, but it's still, as this entire 200 man army looks you down. They pass through the ruined threshold and toward the inner gardens where you are, just you know, like I said, toppling statues and setting some dead bushes alight. But at the very head of the column, flanked by the strange, thin, gray man, is the towering, proud-faced orc, Colleen, sword and shield in hand. You made a mistake, Colleen. I don't think it'll be a permanent one. He kind of smiles and spits on the, on the ground. Oh, damn. You should have killed me. He levels the sword. If you'll give me the chance, I'll finish the job. All right. Uh, would you like to roll? Would you like to roll initiative? No, Just sure would, buddy. Um, can I also say to the? Ro- I want to say to the robot. Oh! oh! Yeah! 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 Man, twenty. Yeah, two. <laughs> yeah, for real, two. Damn. Uh, yes. So you will go first. Cool. And Kaleem kind of points his sword to the grounds, makes a quick, swift, slashing motion. He says, Rend it! And the army begins to spread out, working their way to Before the he even finishes that sentence, I my I flash out my hatchet uh-huh. that turns into a... Oh, yeah, the, ha- a, the, yeah. the hatchet that turns into a halberd. So it's just a hatchet, and I uh, sort of roll and... Uh, and Ooh. stick it and try to stick it into his calf. Okay. Or his uh, ankle. Line. As a hatchet? Yeah, as, yeah a hatchet. as a hatchet. You'll see. You'll see oh, why I did that. Right. As a hatchet. So it's on the on the inside. Yeah. Oh, that would be... Uh, I hit. 17 plus 10. 27. Damn, okay. Um, <gasps> so it's just a hatchet. Uh, I don't have my crimson right on it. I do have my crimson right on the gray sword. I would have done that beforehand. Okay. Uh, so that is... How much is a hatchet? Guys, how much is a hatchet? <laughs> uh, hand axe? About 20 bucks. One D6. Okay, cool. Yeah, I thought you could get one at Home Depot real cheap. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I don't think hatchets are that expensive. Uh, nine damage, and then I use my bonus action to expand it into a halberd uh, through his legs. To trip, <laughs> to trip him up. That's smart. Just trip him up. So Just a he little has, bit. So he has to make a saving throw to uh, okay, obviously cool. What, a deck save? Yeah, yeah, deck save. It's a nine. We'll take the thirteen. Uh, so he manages to step over it and kick it, the handle of the hatchet down. Okay. Uh, which dislodges it from his calf. He's uh, still knocked off balance though, so I get my second attack with um, advantage. Is he knocked off balance? I mean, I mean, just, a hatchet just turned into a halberd. Well, <laughs> I mean, it would have to like split his legs a little bit. Uh, yeah. yeah okay, cool. Sure. I feel like there's no way you get out of that. Hate to break it to you, man, but... Uh, 25. Okay. Have my crimson right. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it was just the sort of thing. Okay, cool. cool. So, Ooh, that's a lot of that. Uh, 21 damage. Okay. And then... Uh, that's all. That's okay, all. 21 That's damage. Okay, cool. So, you quickly, as he's off balance, how are you just hack at him? Um, so he's knocked off balance, and I fully, like, reach back and uh, uh, hit him. He, I think I, like, 
uh, uh, try to like fully decapitate him and oh, he okay. blocks it, but then I just uh, okay. hit him with the hilt really hard in the head. Yeah. Uh, so he manages to bury it with his shield, and you kind of get him with the hilt and boom, bash him in with the pommel. So that is your turn, I presume? Yes. Okay. So he's going to regain 10 hit points, um, because that's just what he does. Cool. Uh, so, yep, the indomitable I already used. All right. He's going to step forward and try to gore you. Same side that he did before. Carve the blade right through your breastplate. Uh, so that's uh, he has a, disadvantage. If yeah, you're on that okay. Point. So it's going to be a two. Okay. Uh, but he's also going to, because you stab forward, he's going to try to draw the blade across. Okay. Man. Clint can't eat shit today, dude. Yeah, he can't eat shit. He can eat shit okay. today, but. Um, what's the bonus? Two? Oh, yeah. Plus nine. Okay, so that was a 19. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, blood maledict uh-huh. uh, to subtract six. Uh, six from it. Okay. So it doesn't hit because my AC is 16. Awesome. All right. Uh, so you have managed to quickly deflect both of you, sidestep one of his blows, and then toss the, kind of slam your blade into his and knock it down. Yeah, I sure do. And he smiles at you and spits and says, <laughs> well done. I see you've learned a little bit. I learned a lot. Hmm, is it enough? And you can see in the background, the rest of the revisionist army is already spread out and they're already doing their thing. Okay, cool. And the gray-haired man is just standing, watching intent. What's this guy's up to? Can I make an insight check on this guy? Oh, sure, yeah. What's his fucking deal? What's his vibe? <laughs> this guy's creepy. What's his vibe? What's his vibe? <laughs> check the vibe, man. Uh, 20. Unnatural. Okay. Dirty 20. Uh, this is very much a familiar, almost paternal presence. Fuck. It's as if he's watching, he's watching with such dispassionate interest. He's just kind of analyzing, it seems. Is he an orc? Not an orc. No, he's a human. I'm half orc, though. It's not the face of your father. Okay. But it feels like... He just has dad energy. Yeah. <laughs> he got dad no, it's, vibes. It's very, much a, it's very much a comforting presence that is familiar to him. Okay, is Kaleem a full orc or is he a half orc? He is a full orc. Okay. If you can shoot that guy. You can shoot that guy if you want to. It's cool. Oh, I, I give, I give I you permission. No, what if oh, yeah, dad? So oh, what you, what you I had a plan okay, uh, cool. with that I'm guy. Unloading into the... Okay, you just... <laughs> okay, go ahead, please. I am, um, I first of all, I tell the robot, um, also, his name is Malachi. I'm dubbing it now. Oh, nice. Uh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Uh, oh. <laughs> two misses, an unnatural 20, mm. and a crit. Oh, okay. Whoa, uh, did which you, means did, another did, attack. Do I roll another uh, attack? Yeah. Yeah, because it's three Cause attacks. It is, cause it is three it's attacks. three attacks on a crit instead of two. That one. Oh, my oh! God. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, so, three, swept up in the moment, you, three uh, don't know. Uh, so, as the revisionists, you fuck him up. as the revisionists begin to spread out through the cast, through this estate grounds and ruin your friend's home and everything inside of it, you manage to catch one of them. You actually, uh, from the vantage point you're at, you knock back a bow and you fire it. As, as a string of them are going through the door, you catch about three of them in the head. And, <laughs> and you manage to... Their bodies are just perfectly spread enough that you barricade the door with their armored corpses. <gasps> yes. Uh, okay. On the other, yeah, on the other hand, though, uh, swept up in the ecstasy of the moment, you drop an arrow from your bow, and oh. it falls and hits Kato's armor. Uh, Kato, it has not, disadvantage. Yeah, okay. it, it's not going to damage you, but it just knocks you temporarily unfocused. Okay, that sucks. So um, you're going to have, you're, like you're not going to have advantage. On Attack. Okay, cool. If you had advantage on your next attack. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so cool. just watch you off the guard. Uh, but otherwise than that, you felt a few revisionists as they're trying to make their way into the home. I, um, I tell the robot, I say, anyone in gray armor? Kill them, please. All right. It quickly <laughs> gotta be polite for robots. <laughs> strikes, a com- it strikes a badass combat pose. Nice. It, with one arm, though, so it's more like... Yeah. <laughs> still, still kicks ass. Yeah. Still kicks ass. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
And then any other revisionists I see coming into my house, I'm gonna take this spear mm-hmm. and I'm gonna um, I'm actually going to use a first level spell slot to cover the weapon in an element of my choice, dealing 1d6 bonus damage for 1d4 turns. Wow, okay. Mm. So, please, what element is your choice? What element would do the what most? What out. element would do the most damage to these people? I don't, I, I don't think there is one. I don't think there is one. one. It doesn't seem like there is one. You got fire. You got fire. You got lightning. Got lightning. Lightning, is rules. lightning is my thing, guys. Thunder you can't be, have it. Thunder would be funny. Thunder, yeah. This is a loud spear. <laughs> I was thinking poison. Oh, poison. Poison is easily resisted. Eh, yeah. And if these guys are blood hunters, they might be resistant to poison, possibly. Okay. Maybe resistant to fire? No, probably not. Fire is a good choice. Fire! It's gonna be fire! Because ironically, because they're catching my fucking home on fire. Okay, cool. Fire v fire! Oh, for 1d4 turns. Yeah, so please tell us how many d4 turns that is. How many d4 turns? No, it's 1d4. Four! four. Yes. Yes. And I'm going. Oh, it's 1d4 turns. Yeah. Is that. Is that that's, an action? that's correct. Oh, that, that was. Oh, that's. Um, no, wait, is that an action to do that? No. Oh, great. Then I am just going to start fucking up as many right. as I can. All right, so you're, you're going to try to run them through? Yeah, run awesome. them through, stab them, murder. Yeah. Okay, cool. They're Go coming ahead. into my damn house. I got full authorization to murder. Get after them. Who? 21! Damn, okay. If so. it was a 20, then I would have gotten 1d4 spell slot. Huh. Well, you spell can... slot. <laughs> 1d4 or spell or it? slot. It was it was a 19. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you're... I need to crit. If I crit, yeah, I get crit, 1d4 get the... spell okay. slots back, okay. which okay. means I can have a third level spell slot, which means I can fireball their asses. So, as soon as they begin to make your, their way into your house, you see a few of the shadows making their way felled by an arrow. And three of them make their way in. One of them, a knight. And towering armor and a bulwark shield, and you just pinpoint your air, your spear just right and ram it through their throat. <laughs> and the armored knight begins to gurgle and choke as you pull the spear out and oh, wait, the fire and oh, the fire I spreads through their throat and yeah, they're just dead. burns them. They're they're dead. And there's a very loud clatter of armor on the floor. Erdin, anything? All right, I would no like to. So they're in. They came in through the gate, right? They've come in through the gate. They're How in the much garden. of the army is still like outside of the gate? Uh, they've mostly made their way through now. It's like maybe one or two, uh, maybe like ten or twenty people that are just kind of. Going All right, through. then I would like to choose a point where I can hit as many army people as possible without okay. hitting any of my my buds. Yeah, that would be yes. right near the right near the oak tree that you were previously sitting under, as they've kind of spread out. Rip the oak but there's also there's one side and there's the other side, which has nothing. Okay. Emotions, so. okay. I am going to um, cast erupting earth, which uses the material component of obsidian. So I'm going to use my um, hourglass scimitars to uh, to cast erupting earth. I uh-huh. hold them like this. I uncross Damn. them, um, and a fountain of churned earth and stone erupts in a twenty foot cube. Interesting. Okay. So you cross your swords, and you quickly, and a fissure going runs across the earth, working its way and unhinging some of the cobbles as it goes until it erupts. Just poof, a cloud of dirt and stone batters, cult, uh, batters the foot soldiers of the revisionists alongside their knights. Okay, everyone in the 20-foot cube has to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Also, it's difficult terrain now. Okay, it's difficult terrain now. Uh, the DC, I got 18, I just said. The DC is a 14. Okay. So they have succeeded. Oh, no, wait. They've succeeded. It's a fit. No, it's a 14 still. Okay. But they've succeeded either way. Okay, well, fuck you. Sorry. Fuck you, I guess. Okay, well, it's 3d12. Okay. It's 15. Because you're supposed to. Because your yeah, fire is plus 4, isn't it? And you're. So it's 8 plus 4 plus 3. Oh, just okay. Oh, I still fine. beat it, but. Now you know. Eight, 16, so they all take 8 damage. Okay. And eight. also are all now on difficult terrain. A few of them have been sucked under the undertow of the earth. Ooh, They've been drawn rough. into the dirt. And you can see them trying to get out as they've been buried alive. Oh, sorry. Others have been, have been just knocked awry by stones. But they're still working their way, starting to light the shingles of the home on fire. Okay. 
This is already a work in progress. It doesn't okay. need to be more of a work in progress. My turn. It is Thanks. you and Kaleem and I... Oh, no. I have to do one thing first. Okay. Uh, there are a few of them with crossbows that have taken note of you in the tower, Maya. So they're going to open fire. Um, that is a 19. If you have any... Okay. Okay. It is one... It is one D10. Yeah, I'll get to it. I am sorry. It's okay. I'll get, I'll get there. I know. I don't mean to be like... Yeah. Okay. That's four. I'm the healer. So one of the arrows that fly your way, a few of them are killed, uh, are killed by the crows. So the crows actually like body block some of the arrows, <laughs> but one of them nicks your your head as it passes by, and it carves a small gash in there as blood begins to drip down your face. So you have been dealt four damage, and that will pass turn to our dear friends of Kalim okay. and So. Am I, so am I just, so I can feel sort of the thoughts of people, am I just telepathic or am I telekinetic too? <laughs> uh, telepathic right now. You haven't okay. really had time to. You need more blood. <laughs> no! <laughs> you can't, you can blood. definitely feel your Anya's kind of like feelings. Okay. That's kind of, that's kind of Where's she at? Can Where's I feel Kaleem's feelings? Probably pissed. <laughs> uh, I try to make a, so this is going to be a minor action. But okay, you try to make an intelligence throw to, or check to feel. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I got a four. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Kalim is as stony as ever. It seems yeah. he's focused okay. entirely pinpoint on this task, which is killing you. Uh, what? So as we're just going back and forth, I've killed so many people, and I hated it all. But you, you're everything. Everything. I'm gonna make an attack on them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I hit. That's a twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. I'm making an attack on them. Dude. I'm gonna make an attack on them. Now that I've hated your guts. You're <laughs> everything I hate. I'm, I'm gonna attack him. Oh, can I attack him now? I'm gonna <laughs> attack him now. I would like to rage, please. <laughs> May I please stab him with my sword? Twenty damage. Okay. No. <laughs> Second attack. <laughs> Sorry, we were also mean to you. Please uh, don't attack us. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen. Yeah, no, that's not gonna hit. Okay. Uh, so you slam down on his shield, and he <laughs> takes it, and you can see you've cleaved a chunk of his shield out, but it's still the force of your blow. Yeah. You manage to wrench the blade back, and how are you going to hit him? I, uh, I fully, uh, attempt to, I'm attempt. I'm trying to get him in the shoulder to break his sword arm. Oh. Oh. Woo! Like, with not just the slashing, just the, the brunt, the, the brunt, brunt force of my weapon. The force of the weapon. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, so you're able to... Bumble is he wearing a helmet or is he? He is not wearing a helmet, okay. but he is wearing. Cool. So if very, I need to headbutt him, I can. Yeah, very bulky chest plate. And he. Are you wearing? A He's too no. invested in fashion. Uh, I never wear a helmet. The weapon that you're trying to hit the shoulder, it kind of glances off the shoulder, but as you're pulling it back, you're able to make a swift cut across the forearm. Yeah. And blood begins to drip from his palm prints, mm-hmm. as as you do. Uh, so he is going to regain ten point hit points. Because that's just what he does. Yeah. That's the Kaleem difference. Uh, and he is going to... Trying to... Bans, bans, just get at you. Oh, no. Actually. He's going to... He's going to do an orcish blood roar. A type that you learned in the Crimson Order. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. The DC is 16. Okay. Can I help him? No. Fifteen. You have been fighting. Shit. Okay, so I have disadvantage on attack rolls while he's with, while he's within my sight. Yes, you do. Uh, that is till the end of his next turn. Cool. All right. So he has done that, and he is going to just try to. Um, only one legendary option can be used at a time. Okay. Cool. Homie's got legendary actions. Um, so he is going to try to gory gory you with his sword. Just try to get quick two cuts across. Yeah. With his. Okay, that's a nine. <laughs> uh, that's an eighteen. Okay. Does the eighteen hit? Uh, does the eighteen hit? Uh, yes. Okay. So. I'm gonna cast hellish rebuke. Nice. With my only spell slot. With your only spell slot. He has to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. 
That is a 18. Okay, he succeeds, so he takes... One? Yeah, that's, that's a one. one. That's so ten. eleven, so five, five fire damage. Okay. Uh, you see flames crawl up the sword and up up his arm, mm-hmm. and he kind of you see his arm burning and blistering, but he remains his arm remains true, and he is going to strike you for eleven damage. Okay. And uh, the man in gray, not like. Kind of, he's watching very intently in the background and just kind of watching the battle unfold, appraising you both. Like he's uh, like just watching the form, watching how you're swinging his sword, how he's swinging your sword, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. All right, that'll pass turn to the rest of the crew. Maya. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a maraca. Let's uh, see, what is the uh, Maya machine cranking out today? The lowest is an 18. Okay, uh, exactly. so there all of them hit. critical. Okay. Um, get, another, so get another attack in there, bad boy. Get another bad yeah, boy. Yeah, dump another, dump another arrow in there, why not? Why not, really? Critical hit. Oh, oh my god, you get another one! You get another one! Oh no. That's a 24. Oh my god. Okay, wait, so how many is that? Okay, so it's Six. two crit, and two of them are crits, so okay. you get double damage on two of those. So, so it's basically eight. Eight. Yeah, I mean, eight D6. Roll, yeah, roll the damage. Do you need any not? more? Holy fuck. Seven. Eight. So eight roll D6 the, plus six times your, uh... I mean, you're gonna, times you're gonna kill plenty of them, but I just want to know. How <laughs> for one of the critical hits, as Kaleem raises his sword Ooh. on fire, and it ricochets off the sword. Oh, to the, to the great? To the great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, not, not, not in for the man who's watching. Oh, yeah. But, but it just, just into another room. He God. just, like, he raises that the sword. So just like, just, 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 just throw off. <laughs> just to throw off his. Damn. So throw cool. him off his rhythm. Yeah, throw him like, off his rhythm. You guys are just exchanging blows. Yeah. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. I'm killing a bitch. All right. We'll let you add. Um, so as you and Kalim are exchanging blows, he looks. At don't you worry. It's plus a, thirty-six. You're gonna be fine. He looks at you with very red eyes. Like the blood in his eyes has suddenly Fifty-seven. And you can see uh, him snarling and kind of bucking like. Thank you, I can do math. You you would kill your brother. For what? For what? Betray our family. For what? For pathetic sense of self-righteousness and honor that you haven't stuck to since everything fell apart. You want to know what I do it for? For me. Well, perhaps you should stop being so selfish and look at where things are right. <laughs> We're doing the right thing here, and you're just so stuck up that you can't even notice it. We're putting the world back to where we started so that we might be able to make something out of what's left. But sure, pretend your little crusade is protecting ruins and not Sorry. trash. Does Maya's arrow hit his sword mid-speech? Oh, yeah. mid <laughs> <laughs> and He's just like, what the fuck? Yeah, he kind of like points up and... Uh, the, the gray-haired man calmly sidesteps the arrow and lets someone <laughs> behind him take it. <laughs> uh, and 63 damage. Okay. Nice! Impressively done. Nice! Uh, so so one close of the, to 69. That would have been very nice. Uh, so <laughs> as, as the battle is raging around you and more revisions start making their way into the home, there have been suddenly... <laughs> like, arrows are flying through the roof and down... And hitting and killing people inside of the house? They're like curving <laughs> midair. <Yeah. laughs> Fucking dead shot. <laughs> I never miss. <laughs> I'm, I'm firing arrows and firing other arrows to <laughs> Yeah, there are arrows bouncing off of arrows. <laughs> One of them actually like flies through Malachi's exposed ribcage and like hits a guy in the eye. It's it is ridiculous. Uh, so yes, please, Yurani, what are you doing? Right now? Okay, first of all, hmm, is there a balcony overlooking where Cato, uh, uh, Kaleem, and, Kaleem and Mr. Uh, yeah, there's a balcony over there. Mr. Dad, evil man. <laughs> Mr. Dad, evil. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna. Um. I first of all, would it be an action to use my sorcery points to get a spell slot? Back? It's a bonus action. It's I a think. bonus action. It'd be a bonus action, but yeah, you could take it and still continue. Keep on keeping on. Take it and keep on keeping on, Eric. Um, Come on. Kato, you're gonna need to move. Oh! I can't hear you. I didn't. I'm not saying. I'm saying oh, that. Wait. You can. Wait. Oh. 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 Hillary, what do my Oh, my oh, link. My, my word. Yeah. I, your head. Very so I don't crazy. even hear. I just feel it. I yeah. just say. You're just like, oh shit. Kato, you're gonna need to move. Yeah. And then the as soon step. as soon as Kato is out of the way, I'm going to cast fireball on their asses. Oh. All right. They're going to kill me now. <laughs> no, wait. Why not take out as many of the... Yeah, don't. If you, no, no. You've already done it. <laughs> but wait. I the, if you the, interact, point, the, the point the of point. the duel is that if you break if, the sanctity if, of the duel, then the whole army is going to attack Kato. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did not know that. Well, it's too <laughs> late. Now it's, no, you got to do it. It's what, it's what you would do. It's what you would do. You already did it. It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm Kato fucking Arakeen. Worst comes to worst. Call in the big guns. Call in the big guns. I just wanted to. Does anyone, does anyone remember? Okay, well, at least I'm not taking the damage. And it's a deck save, so. Oh, do we still have the warship? I mean, it's. <laughs> Such tension. Bruh. Have your I mean, you do have. Yeah, just, there's a warship. It's not close, on. but you could call it if you needed to. Wait, can we just like stay. whistle? Well, it's like a. You have like a. Yeah. In your in your cuff link, there's like a little. Um, emergency oh, button see. that's like. Oh shit! It's the oh shit button. <laughs> <Ben 10. laughs> I forgot where this spell is. I'm not the sharpest. Joke. It's eight. Oh, it's one action. I'm looking if I need to roll. Oh yeah, so you guys are like going at it. Oh, they do yeah. a deck saving throw. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not. I'm not in the deck saving. I told him to move. Including. Uh, uh, although I'm not disengaging, which means that he gets an opportunity attack against yep. me. So that's eleven and nine. Eleven Seven. and nine. Neither of those are gonna Neither. make it. Okay. That is eight d six fire damage. Okay. Um, nice throw. Oh. Never mind. Gail has so many. Gail's got them all out. I've already got. Okay, and um, it's a 150 foot thing. Oh yeah. So um, probably the revisionists around that. Uh too. no, it's a 150 foot range. The oh. the like 24. fireball itself is a 20 foot radius. Yeah. Oh, well, still I bet is there revisionist? Fireball memorized. Is there revisionist? Of course I do. It's a it's a classic yeah, a spell. Feature. I'm gonna shove you in my locker. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I won't fit in your locker. Oh. Five, ten. Your wait. Was a six. Thank yeah, you. It was a six. 10, 15, uh, God. There's 12, 15, so that's 30. 15, uh, this is 12, so. 15, 27, 27 plus 3 is 80, 27. Right. 30, 27 37. 30, yeah, 37 damage. Awesome. So as you, as Kato, you quickly step out of the way, uh-huh. and Yurani, out on the balcony of her house, Pissed off that they're I just, burning the can fucking I, thing down. Can yeah. I say one thing? Yeah. Get the fuck out of my house. Boom! <laughs> Hits that. <laughs> Throws bodies, revisionist bodies everywhere. The gray man just looks up at the, looks up, and kind of like, pats out a fire. <laughs> and he steps aside and just looks, makes direct eye contact with you. The gaze is unsettling. It's as if 50 people are looking at you at once. And kill their asses. Um, and Kaleem is pissed. And he, he takes off his gauntlet uh-huh. and drops it. And he's like, get it! <laughs> oh. Alright, that's your turn. Okay, I am going to use my last third level spell slot. You that killed definitely me! Up and I am going Help. to cast <laughs> Tidal Waves. Oh. I killed at least like a Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the, the tower's starting to like wobble now okay. as they're working their way through the house and like okay do you have any temp hit points left walls. uh yeah i have one temporary hit point left. okay tell me when you're out because then i can start using concentration spells again oh nice 
<laughs> well, you can just get rid of it. I don't need one temporary. No, I have point. something else that I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna cast Tidal Wave. Yes. So how many people are in like the courtyard? Uh, the courtyard. There's about what thirty people. Because the rest of them have like made their way into the house, and Malachi is overwhelmed. Like he's getting battered upon. He's okay. killing a few of them, but he's just like getting battered. Okay. Upon. I might fuck up Malachi. Okay. Short amount. I can try and fix it. Um, we can try and fix it, maybe. Okay, I... first time you've done that. Too soon! Actually, okay, I was going to cast it in the house, but I think it would be better to cast it in the courtyard because yeah. it wouldn't be blocked by walls. Okay, I'm going to cast it. Um, Kato, is this... Where do you... Where are you? I'm in the center courtyard, like right in the center. Right in the middle. Right okay. But I'm 20 feet out from Kaleem right now. Yeah, so you're pretty well out. Okay. I should just okay, so this is 30 feet long, 10 feet wide, yep. um, 10 feet tall, so I'd just like it to go through the courtyard. Yeah, okay. So just uh, out of the fat and out of the puddles on the ground. And, and also out of, and just out of put the, out all the fire out of the, you're <laughs> started. And out of, out of the sky, mist is precipitating, water is precipitating out of the sky. You are creating this dirty, brackish tidal wave to hurl. Stones are getting swayed. Don't wave. like fire. And bodies are getting. Sorry. Wait, why did you start fires? Then? Uh, well, I, those are my <laughs> own personal okay. fires that I have control oh, okay. over. I don't like other people starting right. fires. And there's just like stones and daggers and body parts are getting swept okay. up in this tidal wave, and you. <sighs> Every creature in the area has to make a dexterity saving. All right. Does that include me? Yes. Cool. We'll make two. Um, that is a 15, and that's a dex. Okay, 15 is my DC, so that one's... I'm fine. Okay. I got a 17. Um, okay, so you're going to take half damage. Okay, cool. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you aren't knocked prone. Everyone who failed is knocked prone. Okay. okay. Did Colleen fail? No. Fuck. I might need one more. I'll just roll three. I don't know. One that's a D20. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you want to roll that. Just be careful. Okay, 8, 10, 15. Okay. Oh, 16. Okay. So it's 16 damage. Okay. And, um... The other ones are... Th- yeah, everyone who succeeded takes 8 damage, okay. and everyone who failed takes 16 and is not prone. Okay. Uh, Kaleem is buffeted by the wave, and he stands stalwart through it. Though he is knocked off balance, he is hit with cinder blocks and a couple of daggers that slice his face. So he has taken 8 damage. The rest of his troop are not so lucky. Uh, the gray man actually stands behind Kaleem and just kind of like stands in the dry. Can I do a perception check on him? Oh, sure. Just uh, just a moment. What's this guy's deal? So, is this all, of this is, all of this is happening and they're just getting <laughs> planted. Uh, they're getting, wa- revisions are getting washed out. And you can see the army's beginning to congeal. Uh, it's starting to retreat from the house. It's starting to just pour into the courtyard. No. You see the house, it's, it's like coming... your targets! It's coming out, and a few of them are actually making... They're still making their way through their house. So oh, also, don't regular. forget about the difficult terrain. Yeah, and it's some of them have... Tri- uh, a couple of them tripped over. Sorry, I kind of fucked up your house. It was already going to get repaired anyways. And so they're all kind of congealing. They're pouring out of the entrance... They're all surrounding Kato and making their way toward him. Alright, well that's fine. They're not here yet. And it's Sorry. their turn, so let's see. Their turn! <laughs> Motherfucker! They are here yet! <laughs> I'm sorry! Crossbow, uh, Eric crossbow bolts are firing toward okay, you. Okay, they all have disadvantage. Okay. Well, we'll do a few because... May C16. It's, it's like 50 sorry. people firing crossbow bolts. Yeah, I'm time. aware. Do I want to fuck up specifically Colleen? Okay. Or do I want to try and fuck up this Okay, one of them hits. Just keep them off of me. Okay. And I will, so and I can that is 1d10 plus 2. Okay. That's 8. Okay. Yes, so you have awesome. been... I'm, uh, I'm at like half HP. I have okay. 28 hit points out of 44. All right. And the gray man... So maybe they, some healing work. The gray man is just kind of standing there. And you wanted to do a perception check yes, on him. So please, go ahead. Deal. You just went great. Um, that's a 13. Okay. Ah, uh, man. I mean, you've been wandering for a while, haven't you? You've seen him before. And he's... It was a very... It was a while ago. Uh, 
maybe a few years. But you, you remember him. He looks exactly the same. Just this exact same, like, you look at the face, boom, same guy. And it was clearly he was with a smaller group then, but it, it's grown. So this must be this group, surely. And, of course, as you're standing there, you just, like, there's really a blood, there's really a blood connection between you three. And, like, his, his, end, <laughs> his end is very, very strong. And it, it just resonates with you. Dill. Yeah. Very clear. <laughs> Never talk. Just stop talking. Be done. <laughs> uh, yes, so does you and Colleen. And the rest of the army is just kind of, like... We got the surrounding you. So if anything happens, don't worry. they're just gonna pour. Yeah, don't worry. We're gonna fuck them up. So basically, they're you fucking army, army, right? They're we fuck up the army. Oh, wait, what? I know what this is. I know what what this did you say? You what did you say? Armor. Oh no. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, you're gonna heat. My, can you heat? Uh. Do you want me to heat Kaleem's armor? Or... Yeah. Keep the army. Yeah, yeah keep Kaleem. I can't. I can't choose the whole. What kind of save is it? Um, I don't think they get a save. Okay. Unless they can, unless it's something they can take off. Yeah. They don't get a save. And it takes ten minutes to doff armor, so. Uh, so yeah. So just do that. Yeah, go ahead. It's, you it's can only do one target. Um, okay, so. Um, but it's concentration. I can do the D eight as a bonus action. I don't have to manage the right? spells. No. Okay. And once again, your friends come to save you. How quaint! The littlest blood. For a minute, so that's I'm gonna, I'm gonna just yell. It has nothing to do with Kato. It has to do with burning down my fucking Unnatural house. Twenty. Okay. Yeah, maybe if you don't want people to attack you. Jesus. I mean, I uh, also burned yes. down my house a little bit, but I had yeah, my own Jesus. reasons. <laughs> Twenty-six. Okay. Damage. Sorry, Kato, this has nothing to do with your blood feud. This has to do with the fact they're Another burning down my hit. fucking heads. Okay. Um, can I do some kind of check to try and knock him prone? Mm, yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't... Yeah, sure. Uh, strength, please. You if you're gonna try to bat... Yeah, if you're gonna try to batter him down, you're gonna... Remember, you get plus one to that. Nine. <laughs> nice. But I still deal. I thought you needed to roll that again. Huh? What do you mean? No. Because uh, you did two attacks. Yeah, this is my second attack. Oh, yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was just the same roll. I'm like. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Uh, twenty-four damage. Okay. Uh, so you batter his shield away, and you dealt a grievous cut upon his forearm, and you can see the blood is sheeting down his hands. It's just soaking everything, and it's dripping. The rivulets are dripping off of him. Uh, and he's just he flicks it at you. I fully, uh, <laughs> lodge, lo- I like, uh, instead of, sl- I slash, and it's knocked off, and then I stab it Ooh. through him Ooh. and leave it there. We got Come on! <laughs> we got the <laughs> Harrys! So I'm just like standing there, yeah. like fully like wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! Oh, oh, like so now we're being honorable, huh? And he drops the sword, <clears throat> tosses the shield aside, and he just stands there ready to batter at you. Uh, you're still, yeah, are you you're So let's just, can we just keep rolling weapon damage like we, like uh, we have all our stuff? Yeah, sure. Because it's gonna be like, One I damage. do five damage. <laughs> I do six damage. Yeah. <laughs> so he's going to try to bring an armored fist right into your lungs, try to hit you on the side and right. knock the breath out of you. Uh, in addition to that, he's going to throw an elbow, like, to try and hit you across yeah. the face with him. Which just doesn't make any sense, but, you know, whatever. It's Kaleem. It's Kaleem time. He's angry. Uh, yeah. He angry. Okay. You, okay. what? Why didn't you roll so many times? So one of those is an 18. Um, uh, wasn't that disadvantage though? So he takes the... Uh, yeah, no. It's a... Ah, jeez. Okay, so it's plus 5, it's a 14. Uh, that doesn't hit? Damn. Okay. 
Fuck you. Uh, he's yeah. gonna use legendary action and okay. make one more. He can't use a legendary action on his own turn. Oh, yeah, no. So he'll do he has it. to use it at the he'll end. He'll do it turn. on yours, then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's basically the same, so. Either way, you're getting Listen, I'm gonna rule Stickler my way out of this. <laughs> I'm not sure. And the, the gray haired man is, like, just standing there, kind of baffled. Is he wearing like, armor? He's, uh, he's wearing a jerkin. No, not made of metal. Not made of metal. Alright, uh, your turn, please. Okay. Oh, what was the legendary action? Uh, there was no legendary action. It was the end of your turn. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying, like, he could have done it at the oh, end of my turn, oh, okay. and it would functionally be the same oh, okay. as being on his turn. Do, yeah, so, so he's going to try to do his shoulder charge. Okay. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> what was it? It was a nat 20 and a 2! <laughs> oh, okay. God, I hate you. <laughs> Don't you go... Yeah, I'm going right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm going right now. So, it, uh, because he can use the legendary action yeah. at the end of my turn, but it's functionally the same as him doing it so on, his, on his turn because there's only yeah. two turns. Okay. Okay. So we're just settling into the duel now? What do you guys have? Okay. Um, I want to use my spell. spell. I was also going to say, um, I actually have a plan. So, okay. throwback. Remember the ants? Ah. Well, yeah. don't do... The problem is that if you heat metal, Kaleem, everybody's gonna know that it's someone other than me, and they're all gonna swarm me and yeah, kill me. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that's the problem. I mean, but they saw you do one spell. How do they know that you don't know more they didn't spells? See do one spell. I'd have to do like. I would they have to know that you were gonna do... cast heat metal and do like hand tricks. Okay, I'm with your Ani, right? Are you on the balcony with me? Ah, are you on the balcony? I definitely have stayed with your Okay. All the spells yeah. I've cast have been... Okay, this is... Yeah, 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 so sure. then we're on the balcony together. Um, I casted the balcony... I very obviously was the one who cast Fireball because yeah. I did, did, yeah. get the fuck out of my house. Um, okay, I... I hmm. Tell Kato to pretend to cast a spell. Um, I pretend to cast a spell, it says Iridan. What, do I feel that? <laughs> yeah. And then as soon as you I feel him, like I gotta do, as soon as I, I gotta do some crazy <laughs> hand shit. No, you, no, you hear you, Ronnie. Kind of as soon as I see him start doing hand motions, I cast heat metal. I want you to roll a deception check. All right, <laughs> minus one charisma. Woo. Let's see. Oh. Let's see if deception this goes is off. minus one. Fourteen. Gets their wisdom. Uh, so one of them claims not buy it. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's fine. Claims <laughs> uh, busy like, with. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you can. It doesn't, yeah, ma- it doesn't matter if Kaleem buys it or okay, not. Okay, so he takes two d eight damage. Okay. Oh. So as the metal, his armor plate begins to bubble and turn red. He screams, "Liar!" Yes, thirteen. Okay, so he is taking thirteen damage. I don't know what's up with him. You betrayed everything that we stood for. Okay. I'm um, just gonna keep. Just keep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. So you've gotten you've gotten him out of the house. You've gone through and just dis- neat headshots. Everyone, man. No. And whenever um, you see fit to give me a turn again, I will be doing that damage again. Okay. Uh, cool. Ten times. I, uh... Yeah, just, just keep trying. I, just... I would like to <laughs> So, do you go... Wait, what did I get and what did Kaleem get? You In want, terms you of want initiative. first, then Kaleem. Okay. Yeah, then because I'm wondering at where Aerodin goes. Do you go between us or, like, which one you go after might be important? Uh, you go after your run. But well, I've just been like really loose on the initiative for right now. So okay, cool. I haven't gone yet. Yeah, this um, is just taking action. Yeah, I'd like to cast sleep on as many people as I can. Mm, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um, what? Roll your shit. Okay. Roll your, um, do I'm your looking. dance, man. Do your dance. Oh, oh yeah, five D. Sorry. Here, let me grind. I got two. I have some D eights. I've got a D8, I've got another D8, it's, this is five, thank That's you, fine. I'm good. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty juicy. 16. That's, eight. That's 16. That's 12. 12. 12. 24. Okay. I believe. 24. So 24 hit points so, worth of people. 24 hit points worth of people. I don't know how many that is. Um, that's a few of them. Uh-huh. So a few of the... Preferably argue- the ones closer to okay. Kato. So a few of the people <laughs> just faint. Straight up, straight up go down uh, as 
Cato is being set upon. Um, Kaleem's eyes flutter very, very little bit. He yawns. <laughs> there's a there's a slight yawn. Well, he in is. The heat of battle. He's like, oh. It's the <laughs> it's for the people with the lowest hit points. Yeah. He's not low at all. He's not low at all. He has so many hit points. Because well, he does get ten hit points a... back. Does he have? Is he like bloodied at all? Like, is he at half hit points? No. Or... He's no. Not half okay. Cool. He's he's bloodied, but he's not he's not battered, and he's definitely yeah. still on it. Cool. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna take down the whole army before we're we gonna go this. ahead with with this duel. Okay. So um, I'm gonna use first thing I'm gonna do strength tech to try. Oh, Oliver has been running around. Um, Maya, you've been seeing him, like, jump out of the ceilings with a little bread knife and, like, <laughs> <laughs> slitting people's yeah, throats with a bread knife. It's a fucking reaper cheap! But it's not <laughs> even, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> he has to, like, knock him out. It, like, out takes and, like, a lot <laughs> of work. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, jumped down and kind of, like, gotten, kind of, like, in their ears. <laughs> so he's doing his part. He's, uh, thanks, yeah. thanks, man. What's the army at? What's the army at? Uh, they're very... Dwindled, maybe 60, 70 people. And they're, <laughs> they're starting to make their way out. When four people take on an entire army. <laughs> but the house, the damage to the house has been grievous. That's fine. We were going to repair it anyways. I don't give a fucking shit about this Also, house. there's been a sword. Sorry. There's been a sword. The Wrath Tree family sword. I forgot about the has, sword. Has seemingly been welled by someone else. It's been pulled out of its scabbard and has been wielding itself. And you, and you can kind of see a ghostly hand upon it. Do I recognize whose hand? Yeah, it could be any of those hands. better be Malachi and not your fucking dad. <laughs> so many. It stabs Aaron through the heart. <laughs> so now we're dead. Alright. So, Boy, if we ever yeah, go ahead, to, go ahead to continue. So, uh, I'm going to try and do a strength check just to push him, yeah, push him down. Get on, get on top and then start. Trying to beat his head in. Um, maybe don't because he is. I think that if you are in contact with. Well, I cannot. Oh, yeah, like, I well, I mean, I cannot touch his breastplate because it's probably just, just his breastplate. Just punch him in the face. Yeah, I'm just punching him in the face. I'm just wearing his full suit of armor. So you're just like. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a way to do it. Yeah. Okay. There's a way to do okay. it. Okay. So strength check. What? Fucking hell. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess I'm just gonna try and. Yeah. Like grab him by the. So you grab him by the breastplate? Under no, no, no. Um... Your hand sinks into the molten metal. <laughs> I kind of yeah. I think I think that might be. Uh... But I take damage. I mean, okay. Well, continue. Okay. Um. Well, then I'm not gonna grab him. Plus, I failed anyway. Yeah. So I just say. I don't say anything yet. I'm gonna see if I hit. Like, I wish I could knock you over. <laughs> Damn. Uh, so Thirteen doesn't hit. That hits. Is it? Yeah, 12 plus 10, yeah. 22. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Uh, I made mm-hmm. an athletic save against it. Mm-hmm. I got a 20. Against what? My... Oh, against your attack. Just for fun. Just for goops. What, uh, what know, does that do? do? <laughs> <laughs> well, it it's, it's just... I don't know. For goops, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. You just, need, just want to it's get just it out. A, yeah, I just want to get a good... 23 damage. Okay. Uh, so I say, who do you think I am? Liar! Boom! <laughs> All right. Uh, Who do you think you are? I am. <laughs> boom! Blood flecks out his mouth, and you see a tooth that's been knocked loose. He's gonna take an, uh, an action at the end of your turn. I thought you were gonna say an owl. He He's gonna take an owl and tip. Um, so it's a multi attack with what? this advantage. What? You're just punching the sword deeper into his chest. Nah, that's yeah. corny. That hurt my hand also. Okay, cool. So he's kind of like battering it. against you, and mm-hmm. you feel your armor rent. And it kind of like chokes up on you. Okay. But it's no particular damage. Okay. Just your armor has been dented with his fists. Yeah. And he's going to tap you and knock you over. Damn, dude. Please, please. Okay. Uh, so one of those, there was a 10, there was a 15, 16, there was a 17, and there was a 23. Do I make a saving throw against it, or is it please just a AC? Saving throw? Saving throw. 20. Unnatural. Oh, okay. So I lose by one, yeah. right? Yes. Okay, cool. So you have been pushed over into the dirt. Okay. And cobblestones dig into your back. And Kaleem starts to push, 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 push. Just bam, 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 bam. And then he stops. He like, boom, hits you once and draws back. 
and your teeth have been knocked awry. Okay. And you Don't can worry, see we have magic we can fix that. You yeah. see he stands up and gets out. And I have lesser that. restoration. <laughs> that probably fixes and dental problem. His eyes are gleaming with constrained bloodlust. And he just stands back. His hulking figure subsides to reveal a thinner, Boy. slimmer one, dressed in a brand new tunic with a neat mane of silver hair, <laughs> bringing a sly face with sharp, almost ungodly red eyes. And so it is. I cannot bear to watch you two batter against each other with such brutish precision. This has grown dull, as of your skills, my son. Allow me to retrain you with a keener edge. And he draws his sword. It's one of the legendary Crimson Order weapons. The few that only the archbishops can wield. It's a flat, plain-looking blade with a slight curve on the end. He holds it outward and steps forward, making a precise, allowing you to get up before making a precise cut toward your brow. So, okay. I mean, so yeah. What? You, so what? He, what? He what? just like gives you a little cut across the brow. Okay. So you take four damage. Okay. And there's blood that is dripping into your eye. Okay. Okay. Cool. My eye. Oh. Oh? Sorry, Kaleem has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Ah, oh, that would have been nice okay, to cool. Well, now I know. Next turn. <laughs> oh. Well, back at it. <laughs> back at the grind. You know, ladies and gentlemen. It's another critical. <laughs> um, Are your dice wearing this? You. 15 hit. Who? Um, that. No, oh. the revision is not me. Um, so it's the lowest. No. Okay. Uh, it, it hits a bunch of the members, but if you're aiming for the leader, yeah, the head I'm, not, I'm just aiming to get rid of them. Okay, yeah, it, it takes get, get rid of them. Right. Run it's their army it's useless. It's fucking three turn economy, bitch. And that's not one. Okay, so that's three and a crit. Okay, cool. Juicy. Nice hustle. I'm telling you, man. You've got you to gotta calm down with that weapon <laughs> that I obviously gave you. For funsies, Seven. it's for goofs. <laughs> for goofs. 13, 18, plus 24. Okay. Maya is carrying this crew. <laughs> yeah, you're, running out, you're, you're running out of arrows now. Oh, oh yeah, Kato can free hump. Yeah, and there's, so you've actually got a barrel that you brought up from the armory. <laughs> you just have it on your, your back. Your arrow, your quiver is empty, and you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just <laughs> refill the quiver. Yeah, you're just really like dumping arrows into the quiver, um, and you're cool. felling them, and you can see they're clearly starting to move to retreat um, as they're just <laughs> shot down. Uh, Yorani, anything in mind? Is anyone else still trying to destroy the house, or are they all retreating? Uh, the, the house is still on fire. I, I did tidal wave! Toward the, oh, no. yeah, it wasn't towards the house, the it was in the exact opposite yeah. direction of the house. So you put, um, out, the, you put out the garden fires. Okay, yeah, that's all I care about. I'm <laughs> all it the looks, shrubbery is fine. It looks like... The dead shrubbery, yes, um, it's fine. It looks like all of the... Everyone's retreating, right? They're making their move to retreat. Got it, so no one's destroying anything else. Uh, They're taking out a few things here and there, but they're not like in the house anymore. Right? Great, I'm going to try and put the fires out. Awesome. Going in, going in and putting the fires out. Uh, the, the foyer, the ceiling is completely aflame. Like, the walls are on fire, uh, there is very little that is not on fire, it's and nice. you actually catch the image oh, of the imagine. painting, the oil painting that's starting to burn. Oh no, the Anastasia painting. Anastasia Get rid of those tropes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good movie! And and I know, it's a good movie. We're getting musical. rid of the tropes. Getting rid of the tropes. The session. Getting rid of the trips. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna try put as many fires out as I can. Okay. So basically, yes, I do very much want to recreate my family's legacy, but I don't want to completely burn the house to the ground, preferably. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you're just running around. I don't know. What are you using? Spells or anything? Or just like? Probably spells. Okay. Like, yeah. I don't think I... Making gusts of wind and, and just little. Li- yeah. Picking up. Picking up. Chunks of water in the puddles, I'm just kind of hurling them at fires. I can mean, make, make it rain. In here. And slowly but surely, you're putting out the flames, but you can see the the walls are starting to 
burn and ash away, and and things are just it's just a it's just a mess. Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! That's right. Uh, let's see how the tower is doing. Uh, so the tower pitches, and you feel it slightly like tilt beneath your feet, and you're knocked off balance, but uh, you're kind of able to regain it. How many, how many originals are even left? Well, 50, 50, 50. 50-55. Alright, well, I know what I'm saying. We're going to do more than next time. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Erdin, anything for us? Um, okay, well, first I'm going to make Kaleem take the damage. Okay, good take choice. As a bonus action. Take the damage. Um, take that the is 12 damage. damage. Okay. And then... Oh, yeah. So um, his armor is just blistering. Yeah. He's just in the background. like They're, they're moving to retreat. Clint's armor is just bubbling. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now it seems like the duel is over. This no. other guy's trying to fight you now. I'm not done. But he's holding a magic sword? Yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Okay, I'm going to get you. rid of the heat metal on Kaleem and cast it on the sword. Okay. So, so he, has to, he has to make a constitution saving throw or drop okay. the object. Oh, uh, yeah. So he's going to drop the object okay. and just, like, <laughs> picks it up and he'll make a dexterity throw. Close. Okay. And he quickly like scrapes up another one of the short swords that the uh, one of the revisionist knights dropped. Kind of dead. Um, you know, he has a shitty fucking short yeah. sword. and he like he gracefully steps back a few steps and kind of wow. reassesses himself. I shall fuck you. <laughs> so he's just he's standing there, sort of the ready, watch watching you with very analytical eyes. Okay. So please, is it you? You're first. In initiative order? Yeah. You will be first because it is your enduring combat. So please. Okay. Oh. Does anyone hit the. Uh... No, the nobody has. Tips? Nobody has. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, bonus. what? Would that be a, bon- would that be a yeah, reaction? A bonus has anyone won? Oh, I oh, used my bonus action to attack to make Kaleem take damage. So. Wait, to do uh, what? To call uh, the ship. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I called All the All right, ship. cool. So you just kind of like. there's a, You have a little charred bracelet. You just, oh. Bam. <laughs> So the ship is on its way. Okay. I mean, it's not like we need 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 no, right now. Yeah, we're kind of kicking ass. <laughs> yeah, you can just do it yourselves and just let them watch. <laughs> Make all the Modrons watch. <laughs> all the Modrons just come down a little puck cups Please, of popcorn. Please, continue. Uh, so I... Pretty badly hurt. I slowly get up. The emotions to the sword. Take the sword. Come. I score him across the Oh! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Let's see. Do I have disadvantage from blood in my ass? Ah, you have minus two. Okay. Oh no, it's only a plus eight. <laughs> 27. <laughs> um, so, you begin to... And you wrap him with your pinky knuckle, and he just like gracefully step draws back, and you just hit him across the face with his pinky, and he like you just graze it across his teeth, kind of like that. Um, so you hit him a little bit. Uh, you can okay. roll damage for it if you like. Is it gonna be normal damage? No, it's gonna be like two d four. What the fuck? What is this man? Um. Well, I get to re-roll that. Uh, Eleven damage. Okay. Twelve damage. So you uh, you wrap him across the face, and you see a light bruise form on his nose. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Spit on him. Oh. Blood. Okay. He's you spit on him, and it washes down his face. He slurps it up. Who do you <laughs> think you are? I'm the man who made you who you are. <laughs> and he draws the sword sword back and tries to sidestep and hit the back of your ankle or your knee. It's kind of like hamstring you. Yeah. Oh, hamstring is no fun. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so he does a graceful sidestep, slashes him on the back of the leg. It does not pierce the armor, but it does leave a very precise slice in it. Yes, yes, I am you. I am a little bit of everyone, really, when you think about it. This is 
And God? I've seen the error of our ways, my friend. Ah, uh, I try to I take out my gun and shoot him in the foot. Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Yeah! Wow. I forgot that the you gun. Gun. gun! Take out the gun! <laughs> Shit! Damn. I didn't realize I'm gonna be questioning his ass in his brain when I'm done with the 21? fight. 21? 21? Uh, yeah, so you managed to hit him in the foot. Okay. With the gun. With the firearm. Uh, 12. 12. 12. 12 piercing damage. Alright, so the bullet pierces his foot. <laughs> well, you know what? You're smart. You got that much. And it's clearly, it shot off one of his toes. Like, his big toe on the ground. Well, you need that for balance reasons. <laughs> bled out. And he's kind of like stumbling a little bit. And he, he backs up, holds the sword out gracefully beside him, and takes a deft step forward and tries to draw it across your chest twice. Okay. Uh, and now I need to fold that. Okay, so that's it. Ah, that's it. Okay. So he just draws it across your chest for seven damage. Okay, I'm fine. And it, he's clearly making very precise very precise strokes. Uh-huh. He's not bothering with trying to do anything but teach you a lesson. Your blood, huh? Which bleeds like the rest. That's good. Hasn't congealed. It's thick, free flowing with power latent in the veins. You ever wonder where that power came from? Is this God? Anyone else? <laughs> um How's the whole putting out the entire damn house going? Ah, more or less poorly. Okay, can I use Creator Destroy Water to make it rain in the house? Oh, yeah, sure. the fires? Yeah, you, that's a great idea. Why didn't you do that oh, soon? I was busy. So... Oh, the pain is <laughs> everything's waterlogged. <laughs> we can fix that. We can't fix it if it's ash. Okay. And um, Maya? Have you ever played Horizon Zero Dawn? Yeah. You know... After you get the maps, what yeah, she, John, Aloy yeah. does, yeah. Maya does that. What is oh, that? Okay. Yeah, With please. her meat hook. Oh! She jumps out the window of this tower, grapples throws up, throws the meat hook yep. down, and slides down the rope. Ooh! Oh, you repel. Yeah, nice. you repel. Uh, please make a dexterity saving uh, throw. Juicy. If you fail, you're Maya, just gonna die. You can see the ship is on the horizon. That's nice. nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you, and you, the shingle falls, <laughs> and you begin to slide down the roof in free fall. Uh, please make a strength saving throw to hang off the side of the roof. Mulligan. Mulligan. Oh, no, you can't. Okay. What is it on the floor, Gail? What is it? On what the is floor. the floor? What does the floor say? 15. Ah! Yeah. The DC was 15. You are hanging off of the gutter. Over top of the house, just over the dead bodies of the revisionists, over the churned earth that just Eric has sprung up, and you're just like, hang it on! How high up am I? Ah, 20 feet. 20 feet? Uh, well, yeah, so massive. now second floor. 40 feet? Yeah, 40 feet sounds about right. Could high ceilings. The second floor, yeah. High ceilings. Say fancy house. That's good. <laughs> fancy Yeah, your, your family had a nice house. Yeah. How many revisionist soldiers are there? Uh, there are about, there's 50, 55 of them, and they're making their way out of the gates. And they're in full retreat. bodies underneath me? Uh, there's about 5 or 10, but they are armored. Okay. Squishy. I'm going to drop. Oh! Okay. As I fall, fire. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, make it. And then uh, you're going to do the superhero landing? Yeah. <laughs> Bone snap. No, I would tuck and roll. <laughs> not break my knees. Like a sensible person, wow. Alright. Uh, lowest is 16. Okay, uh, all of them hit. And uh, you even managed to nail Colleen through the knee. <laughs> and he kind of drops. I mean, his armor is as two, two more or less off. Haul him up and they start. They're leaving. Kaleem gone. So Kaleem's leg is dragging limply behind him. 
What'd you get? Holy cow. Three sixes and five. Oh! How much damage is that? 23. 47. Oh. Woo! Okay, so you've, you've taken out five or six of them, and at this point they're in full retreat. They're uh, running. They're, they're they are evil. scared of you and only you. <laughs> yeah, my uh, slayer of the revisionists. Um, yes, so you they are in full retreat, and the only one that is left is the gray-haired man. And he is still squared off with Gato. How much damage do I take from falling? Oh, jeez, 3d10. 3d10. Because it's 40 feet, so every feet past 3. I got it. Uh, every foot p- p- past 10. For d10, that's 4, 7, d- 9. No, it's d10. Okay. I read the player's handbook. Wow. Do you, you know the rules? That's the rules of lawyer. 20 damage total. Okay. After I hit, action surge, second wind. Okay. So you hit and immediately, like, whoo, okay! <laughs> <laughs> Will negate. Right. Six. Okay. So I only take fourteen damage. Awesome. Putting me down at twenty nine. Okay. I'm at eight. I've been at eight this whole fight. <laughs> yeah, that's why we stay on the balcony. That's why I didn't stay on the balcony. balcony. I have zero hit points. I just fell out of a tower. <laughs> I'm right. fine. <laughs> Uh, Aaron, you're on anything? You're already putting out fires. You're putting on. out fires. Um, Aaron, let's see. I make, I'm making the rain. Yep. So does that um, put out the fires mostly? That's putting out the fires. Okay, then I do want to do something. Okay. Um, do you have anything else? Um, let me look through my... I'll let you guys okay. prepare those in your head. Oh, I have something prepared. Okay, I just was trying ahead, to be polite. Please. Um, I want, I want to go out there. Mm-hmm. Where Arcado is. Yeah. I, I'm sorry if this ruins your honor thing. Wait, wait, is it gonna? Some honor's over. I'm not gonna hurt. We're done with honor. Okay. I am going to actually do the mind meld thing. Oh. Ooh. With that with dude. With that guy. With that guy. I'm, I have a few words for him. Okay. Go ahead. I'd like to speak to your manager, please. Oh, the Karen. No, I'm not actually going to be doing that. I know, I know, but, but still. Um, so that is for five hours. For five hours? Oh, this might be awkward yeah, if it goes... Dexterity save against a... A, dis- a, a dex save? No, a constitution save for him. Ah, uh, yeah, so you're kind of melded with him. And as soon as you melt, it's millennia of memories. Oh, so you're old. It is memories. He's been the same since many, many years ago. Is he like a lich? No, he's not a lich. But you can see the crimson order through their rise and their fall and the height of the order's power and all of the time that he's spent there. Does he say anything? No, he just he just lets the memories like course through your head. Wow. And he's just like, boom, boom, boom. I'm going to definitely take note here's, of as like, many of these as I can. Here's all this just stream of concentrated memory that he's trying to push out at you, like trying to blast you away with. So Does please it... make a constitution saving throw. Concentration? Constitution. constitution. Ooh, saving throw? Saving throw. <laughs> Got plus six. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's an eight. <laughs> you have been pushed out by the stream of memory. God fucking damn it. You know what? Next turn, I'm gonna try it again. Oh, just okay. because cool. he was a bitch with it. Okay, I do have something that I would like to do. Please go ahead. I would like to, in the area where the where God and Kaleem <laughs> is. Um, uh, I would uh, like Kaleem to. Kaleem is gone. Kaleem is gone. Yeah, yeah he's retreating. Please, 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 way please, off. Please, okay, off. well then, where God is, I would like to summon the Hawk Spirit, which gives my allies advantage on ranged attack rolls against targets within oh. the spirit's range. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> laughs and Maya. Oh. We need a, a meme with a bow that just says laughs and Maya. That's rancid. I'm going to go after Kaleem. Okay, so... <laughs> Do you want me to move it to... Oh, it has to be within 60 feet of You're me. still facing off against... Kill God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to try and uh, move behind him and make a grapple check. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, hold him. Yeah, yeah. hold him. Okay, he's gonna make a dex. Uh, it's it's yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. Awesome. So he makes a dex save. I make an athletics check. Uh, fourteen. That's one. Okay, cool. So he's fine. Yeah. So he slips out and bam, 
hits you on the ground. Okay, cool. And he just starts making his way out. And he looks back at you and kind of says, So this is what's left of my pathetic order. And there's a majestic Shame. hawk flying above him. Yeah, there's just a hawk on <laughs> And he just lets the short, short, the short sword clatter. And ah. walks. Does he take the other sword? <laughs> yeah, he, pick, he picks it up, sheathes it. Okay. And he's, you should have reminded him. He's left scars. Just little, little tiny, very dainty scars on him. Precise, thin red lines that he's carved in your flesh. I try to get up. And I fall to the ground. Mm-hmm. Uh, after the third time, I manage to stand up. Yeah, your legs are like cute, kind of. Your left leg is kind of like giving out because of where you slashed at it. And you have much, much weight on it. Uh, I I try to go after him. Okay. But my leg goes out from under me, and I just fall to the ground, and my head hits, and uh-huh. I pass out. Um, he returns. He turns back and stands over you, and he just looks. So he just looks at you. His eyes filled with compassion. It's a struggle, this life. Order or no. When you lived, ten of them, you realize perhaps you should have just stopped at one. You didn't hear any of that. And he smiles and, and turns. <laughs> and I'm like looking at him, like, did I hear all this? Yeah, you kind of heard that. I was like, okay, so I'm not even going to try the whole mind meld thing at this point. I mean, Airden's like mood. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I'm just, I think that might be a good spot to take a brief break. What do yes, you yes. I have a, I've, I've got questions for that bit when we get there. Uh, so, you have dealt with the estate and the fires, and the ship has landed outside. The pallid lands that surround the estate have been raised by wild flame. Smoke chokes the air, covering the newly formed rubble. Corpses of beasts and animals alike lay, crudely scattered on the ground. Though the battle is over, the, but the damage to the Raft's free lands has yet to be completed. Your lives have been won for the moment, and you have to escape. Um, first of all, I, is the guy's still there, right? Oh, the guy's left. Damn it! I was gonna talk to him. Oh, he left. Well, I mean... You can run after him, like, hey. Like, I, cause, oh, damn. Okay. Can and I run after him? I mean, sure. Yeah, I want to... The just set down, so... I want to run after him. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm just gonna go up and say... Oh, sorry to bug you. You did burn down my house, so I do feel like I should at least have the right to ask. <laughs> Who are you? Hmm, that's, that's a good question, my dear. I suppose... Let's see. Uh, my dear. Uh, he kind of strains at the thought of the memory. Ugh. Let me refer to Anglus Aloma. Oh. Yes. That is what they called me once, but... Those were sounds. Let, let me rephrase that. What are you? A man who's lived too long. <laughs> Anything else? Is he asking Yurani that? Yeah. Oh. So did you... So Yurani first pulls of all, out a list. <laughs> first of all, very interesting memories. I guess getting on the... I'm yeah, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna okay. work on healing Colleen. Yeah. Or not Colleen. Yeah. I don't give heal. a shit about oh. Colleen. <laughs> so <laughs> you've gone from healing Flynn's to healing Colleen. <laughs> so, you, so you guys are like getting on the boat. Yeah, I'm just yeah. I'm like using my healers kit because um, mm-hmm. I'm pretty much out of spell slots. I probably yeah. used all my spell slots putting out the fires. Yeah. First of all, very interesting memories, I do say. <laughs> um. So you founded the Crimson Order? Not founded, but uh, made it the way it had been. The flawed way it had been. Are you... Are you Colleen's father? Didn't think so. No. Well, in a way, I suppose. My blood is evident in every member of the Order. Is that why he drinks blood so much? Drinks. I know, it's it's very <laughs> gross. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's just him. It's... <laughs> it's uh, I mean, it works. <laughs> You can't argue with results. <laughs> the order had mutated much during the last years. 
The blood drinking was an unfortunate side effect of desperation. Oh. It works awesome. <laughs> there are no downsides. Oh, uh, first of all. <laughs> um, I also wanted to say, uh, first of all, fuck you for burning down my house. Second of all, you're on a wrath tree. I doubt I'll be seeing you again, but Probably. if I cross your path, um, perhaps we could put something together. Together. And perhaps your long, long life can end. No, I'm not there, but yeah. <laughs> we were just, just <laughs> um, also, really weird question, you seem very skilled, how interested would you be in killing a dead god? Uh, not particularly, there's a lot to be done here, much still stands that needs to be wiped clean before we can rebuild. That was See, another thing, sucks. that was another thing I actually wanted to ask you about. I do not understand the logic behind that. Why would we live in the husks of what brought us folly? Because when you have the, the husks of what was falling, it provides a foundation to build something new. The foundation is flawed. There are already cracks splitting throughout it. No doubt you saw the collapse of Zay when you were there, or perhaps even your own house's dire state. Please, we're allowing you to help rebuild in the way that it should be. You can always, However that is, is up to you. The thing is, you can always refill cracks. It takes a lot more work and effort to completely build a new foundation, and also a lot more resources at that. So wouldn't it just be easier to build on top of what was already made? Mm. Plus, no matter how much you try to actually scrub history, some little remnant of it will always still remain. Yes, I suppose you're correct, but... It still happened. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm just um, saying maybe you should... Rethink your logic. I'm not saying you're an idiot. You seem very smart. I could never take you in a fight. <laughs> totally not saying you're an idiot here. <laughs> she actually isn't. Uh, but just... Yeah. <laughs> no, like, she actually... <laughs> she actually isn't. She saw his memory. She's like, damn, look at that. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I get it. Stop thinking! <laughs> I just, you know, wanted to probably give you op- alternative solutions to burning everything down. Plus, you're also exhausting resources that you could be reusing to rebuild said world you are talking about. Hmm. There's a value in forgetting. I suggest you... Uh, there is not. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say, there is no... The worst thing I could imagine to someone was to forget. Oh, my... <laughs> He closes his eyes and, and nods his head graciously. Good luck with your dead god or what have you. Good luck with your whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> don't, don't wish him good luck. He turns and begins to walk away. Do uh, plan. Aboard the ship, Estefan and the Modrons are just kind of like, what the hell is going on? Weird question, what was his name again? Uh, Angla Saloma. How do you... A N G L I S S. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm not even on the page. Okay. What is it? A N G L. A N G L. I S S. I S S. O L U M A. Angus Alone. All right. Shall we continue? Shall. I? You're out of his back doors. Be like. Okay. Oh, that was pretty interesting. So Estevel is just kind of looking around, like, well, uh, it seems your business. Here might have been complete, unless there's anything else you needed to take care of before we set out. We're not going, we, we can, this can be wait to be repaired, if we even repair it. <laughs> if I even repair it. It's sort of on fire. Yes, we, uh, we, we put we, the fires out. We did our best to help put out the flames and Thank restore you. what was there, but there's only so much you can do. Oh, yes. Is there a CO2 is, spell? Wait, is the robot dead? Uh, yeah. Oh. Mal- Malachi oh. has been... Died again. Re- rendered, use- rendered, rendered useless. Mm-hmm. I'm still... Yeah. Right. The bones and the sword. Maybe we should put them to rest. You're alright. Yeah. You're gonna take them? Yeah, take okay. them and go from there. Take them. Alright. Well, the helm is yours, should you wish it. Otherwise, we shall head out and make our way to the Astra Prime, regroup with the rest of the others. Okay. 
All right. So um, the the ship is just kind of the Modrons have ready the ship, and they're all kind of standing at attention. Uh, Clyde is reloading the ballista single handedly. Oh, Clyde! He's just, I love you. He's got the whole bolt on his shoulders. <laughs> Clyde, and he is completely bent like... over, trying to put it back into the trying to put it back into the ballista. Clyde, the perfect lad. And he does manage to put it in, but after that, um, the ship begins to lift off and kind of you can survey the shit. Um, and you survey the grounds. It's it's ruined. Yeah. It's ruined. The walls have been battered in. The hamlets in flames. The forests, dead trees are still standing. Um, the brackish pink lake is still kind of undulating. Mm-hmm. Weirdly. Yeah, I still I still go into the basement. Okay. I still carefully pick up all the bones and mm-hmm. I dig as best of a hole as I can. I bury him. Oh, I'm burying him on unprotected ground. On what? Unprotected ground. What does that mean? Well, perhaps there might be a better place to bury him. What do you mean there's a better place to bury him? Well, someone might know a thing or two about burying people. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if you want to bury him. Him. Then Do we have to do this? Yeah, we're on your family. You're on your family. You're on your family. like a family burial ground. Ah, uh, yeah, you do. You probably have a mausoleum or some booze and shit like that. Yeah, there's a... It's, it's ashes. I know of a place where... I know his remains will stay untouched. Where? <laughs> <It's a whistle. laughs> um, you didn't let me die. Obviously, I didn't let you die. I thought you were gonna. I was upset at you. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm gonna get killed either way, eventually. Not if I have anything to say about it. What's the matter to you? You're my friend? I haven't had a lot of those. Wow. We got that. Ready? Shoot back! (laughs) Shoot (laughs) back! Okay. So yes, there's a place- there's a place that you can bury Malachi. Malar- Malarkey! <laughs> There's a place you can bury Malachi if, so, if you so choose. Yeah. Have you said what this place is? It's very... You don't remember? <laughs> Alright, uh, Maya's blanking on it. It is the Valley of Graves. Yeah. You know it as the massive graveyard that spans a valley, an entire valley between two northern mountains. And there's a little bit more to it, but uh, you don't have to tell me. I know that's where your brother's buried, who you just said that. Go up to the helm. Okay. And plot course through the Valley of Graves. We have a heading. <laughs> Here we go! We have a heading! We <laughs> have enough time for a long rest. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Great! Yes. Thank yes. God! Thank yep. fucking God. Estevelle is standing at the helm, and she looks, uh, they look at the course, uh, kind of baffled. This, you want to take us here? Yes. Yes. Very well. We'll be on your way currently. And with that, the glittering ship begins to sail, okay. remaking its way north. I want to go up to your honey. Okay. Um. What about? I just want you to know that I have experienced ruin like that before, and new things tend to grow enthusiastically from the ashes. Thank you. Are you below deck? Yes. Okay. Most likely. Now, I assume you want to do what we discussed. You've been you've been working on this project. Yes. I would like you to roll an investigation check on your handiwork. Is it twelve? 
you carved the runes, but something seems to be off. It's like, it's a, it's hot, like, you hold the bow, and it feels hot. So, something's wrong with, something's wrong with what you're trying to do here. Um, hey, Johnny. Hey, Kato. I'm, I forgot I'm, to, you're you're Kato. You forgot to fill up the ding-dang bow. Um, it's hollow. You can always <laughs> ask the boat, the gas users. tank is empty. <laughs> Uh, you so, so what is the, what's the weather like tonight? What's the weather like tonight? Uh, it's just, it's starting to snow actually. Okay. As you're making your way further and further north, it's starting to snow on the deck. Oh, snow! I thought you said it's starting to smell. It's like, starting to smell. It smells like ass. It's <laughs> okay. It's the it's the ass cloud. <laughs> so, um. It's really hot. I am in my normal place. <laughs> it's hot. You're holding hands. Uh, I'm in my normal place that I meditate, but I'm not sitting on the like pillow or whatever I have. Yeah. I have my um. Uh, you don't use your pillow anymore. You're not soft. <laughs> Hard. You set the deck. <laughs> uh, my my true blood necklace. Okay. I have laid it out yeah. on the pillow, and I am sort of across from it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm trying to talk to it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Please. I don't want this anymore. Pick somebody else. Pick somebody else! It just kind of sits there, and you can feel the spirit within the stone starting. The hairline fracture runs down it. As if it's... And it, blood leaks out of it as if it's crying. This is what the Crimson Order is. I don't want it. I'm done. Right. You've given me nothing for my entire life and told me it was something. Ooh. What am I supposed to do now? Um, so, you're, you're racking your head. And the stone splits and cracks, and it's just dust with a single rivulet of blood that runs thickly down the down the planks. And standing a short ways off is Anne Marie, and she's kind of giving you your space, just right, right diametrically above the necklace. Do you feed off? Cinematically. Cinematically, it's <laughs> Perfectly centered, it's, you know, came It's symbolic. Up. And Marie is there. The metaphor. And strong. Thanks. I can't train you. I lied to you. <laughs> I said I could, but I can't. Hmm. Honesty goes a long way. And, uh, thank you for being honest. But perhaps we can help each other. All right, what are you guys up to? Um, your honey definitely at one point heard this and just slowly backed away. Okay. <laughs> this seems personal. So the yeah, we like have our talk and then we start to come upstairs and then we just back down. <laughs> <the stairs. laughs> I, I, def, I def, afterwards I go and I I check on Maya. Okay. I, I'm like you see. Kato with a broken pendant, you see Maya with a smoking bow. <laughs> I, just, I see a smoking bow, it's like, normal. But it's all right. Uh, this is you? better than the other option. Uh, this is better. So. Notably, there is nothing around the bow that could cause a fire. Uh, <laughs> do I know, can I roll to see if I notice but the also, runes? But also, bow's not bleeding. Uh, yeah, perception. perception. And in the meantime. So that's uh, Behind Emery on the deck, a pair of wretched mountains rise. <laughs> Their crooked bald peaks sends shivers down your back. Between the towering couple is a field of brown and gray, stones and memorials that span from end to end and even bleed onto the mountains themselves. A cold wind whips across the bow of the ship, breaking you with shivers as it starts to as the boat starts to descend. Mm. Okay, yeah, so what did um, you get? I got a now one. I yeah, no. Just looks like it, the bird's kind of scratched it, which is weird because it's brand new. 
That's oh, fine. So, How did um, you get the bow scratch? I have all my blood under abilities. Yeah. Right, right here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Fuck. Guys. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they're done. <laughs> He's declared the blood hunter is, the blood hunter is dead. Kato Arakeen, blood hunter is no more. Kato Arakeen's just a dude. Yeah, yeah I don't have any abilities now. All I have is my stuff from being an orc and my feet. Wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. And we're I'm going sad, to, guys. We're going to fight a dead god. It's fine. Kato is going to be... Uh, well, Kato's going to be Kato. It's fine. I'm suicidal. I'm hero. <laughs> yes. I'm clearly masochistic. It's fine. Kato. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, I did a really bad job of crossing these out. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I my hands are shaking too much from the Pepsi I drank. <laughs> so are you guys looking at the? Girl? I definitely okay. after my I was like, don't worry about. It. I'm like, this is also pretty personal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do like a thing like there's like a rope pulling us back. It's like you do that. You do that on um, the Disney Channel heads on top of each other peeking around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so. There's, I'm looking at all of the graves. Yeah. I just, I, I don't, I'm just holding yeah. Malachi's glasses in my head. Uh, so you're on the deck, and Modrons are, are huddled together in nervous clumps. They're just watching the ominous horizon. Esteval kind of pro- approaches as the boat sets down outside the graveyard with soft, modulated steps. Though the law of death is inescapable, the Modrons and myself still find it disagreeable. We'll wait here. And with that, you are left to your own devices as the ship sucks down into the snow and the sprawling graveyard awaits. Myra will disembark from the ship. Okay. Stand at the entrance okay. to the valley and shout, My lady, I am here. All right. Oh, you're on this is like, okay. Uh, you're standing at the edge of the graves. There's no real gate. But as soon as you shout it, it begins to echo. And it echoes, like, unnaturally echoes through the gravestones. And a patrol of skeletons with uniform pipes carrying a sigil, a tattered skeletal hand in the visage of a keep, makes themselves present. And they're, some of them are jawless. Some of them have their arms missing. But one of them comes up and it's dressed in a robe with a small dagger on its side and it clacks its teeth at you. Um, I present my original bow. Okay. It takes the bow in one hand and beckons to you with the other. In it is a lantern that is lit with a pale blue and white fire and it beckons you inward. So. It's just a row, it's rows and rows and rows of graves. Crudely made, well made, memorials, statues, mausoleums, dug into the mountainside. It's rows and rows of graves. Right. Is it like a, like a necropolis situation? Like are these graves below or above ground? Above. We're in some New Orleans shit. Yeah. Um, this kid can I come with you? Yes. Yeah, so the patrol kind of flames you guys, so you're on each side, and nope. keeping you in a straight line. This is really I'm sure cool. that this will be great for me. Oh, this is so cool. Sorry. So, you're flanked by the skeleton guardians of the valley, and you walk and walk and walk among snowdrifts and old graves that have been here for perhaps hundreds of years. And you're brought into the lowest part of the environment. Unlike the rest of the valley, there's a small gray glade here composed of deep purple shrubs and gently trickling spring water that meets in a small pool in the center. Near that pool is a thin woman wearing a silver and black dress with a diadem on her head. And she turns to face Maya. Maya Whitlock, my dear, it is so good to see you again, much less safe and sound. And your gift to me, most kind. She takes the bow, and you can see her arm is not quite skeletal. It is the beaut it is not quite skeletal, but it is not quite human. It is something in between. She takes the bow in one hand, and the other there's a bundle of purple buds. She wears the beauty of rigor mortis on her proud features, and her, the diadem is forged of two interlacing hands. 
And you've brought friends, no less. How kind of you. I ask for two favors. <laughs> A favor? Okay, well. I suppose you have uh, earned a favor for yourself. And one such favor would be allowing your friends to pass through the Valley of Graves alive. The first is as beneficial to you as it is to me. Hmm. I have received a new bow, and as you may know, I am unable to do the same as I have with my loved one. Very well. Well, I will have the courier fashion these crude ruins into functional ones right away. And the courier, she hands the bow gently to the courier who has followed you, and the courier begins to work at their skeletal fingers over it. Now, I understand that we talked before, but perhaps you don't remember that death might just be a cure to what ills you. Of course, if you were willing to return in my story, to in my service. But uh, there is much to be learned from being dead. There's a certain. <laughs> this is great! <laughs> Can I even pull out his kid as an ear? Don't worry about this. And your friends as well. You have brought me many new ones. The bodies of the twisted mind flayers that you've so reverently laid to waste. Thank you for your service and unknown service. Now, your second favor, my thrall. Are you, are you asking, are you thanking us for killing mind flayers? I'm thanking you for killing anything and everything that moves. You returned it to my hand. And she gestures um, outward to the skeletons roaming the graveyard. Then you I... have grown my land so, so fruitfully. I no. could not ask for better friends. You're not a god. No, I'm not a god. I'm merely a lady. Then I guess you're welcome. Uh, as she says that, she starts picking the bones like a cat. She wriggles her little fingers over it, and a cat begins to spring to life. And it kind of run, circles her feet, and she snaps, and the bones. Aaron didn't experience this an entire roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Necromancy. <laughs> the whole span of <laughs> all emotions. emotion. The seven stages of grief. Yeah, every single emotion. Necromancy, it's really quite thrilling. Can you bring bring the cat bring the cat back? And the cat, of course. <laughs> it is the little things after all. Can I hold can now, I hold the cat? Be my guest, it doesn't bite. That's much too dead for that. My oh my Dear servant, what else have you need of? I would like for my friends, oh, my friends here here. to be able to bury her brother. Ah, a new, new merchant. Huh? Very well. well. I suppose I should talk to her. I ask that whatever it may be, her death be added to mine. I'm sure I can to your ledger. <laughs> courier, fetch the ledger, please. And the courier pulls a stone out of the ground. It's a headstone. It says a Maya Whitlock on it. And carved into it is the debt that you owe the lady of the lady of bone. What does it say? Just says uh, eternal uh, eternal retrieval of souls. My Whitlock, my keeper. My fairy of the dead. Very well, let's see. Now, what is it you wish to bury? My younger brother, Malachi. Younger, younger brother, Malachi. Very well. Well, if you'll hand the bones to the courier, we will arrange a burial swiftly. As for your debt, my eternal retrieval of souls is, is very much a, a large price to exact. But perhaps we can split something amongst your friends. No. I... It is a very small thing, please. Just hear me out. You will... All it will be is respectful burial of the dead which you encounter, whether you rend them that way or whether you come across them that way. Whatever it may be, however you deem it, as long as it is done 
It will be observed, and your brother will be protected. And when you die, I will not return you to my service. I think we can handle that. I do not want the rest of you to be shackled in the same way that I am. How are you? If... How are you shackled? You serve a lich. She's a lich, right? Where is the lich? Crude term, he's died. Quite much still alive, just a little different. Does it look like I want to make a deal? No, but looks like the camera ah. just turned off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so we're back. Of course, uh, there there is the question of your brother, which we have already set relation to Barry, but. I think that, uh, considering your friend Kate is straight, it might be more beneficial to myself to know that someone out there is helper, not just you, Lindbach. Maya, you've done so much for us. Perhaps let someone else shoulder the burden. What is helper? Help? Well, Maya's made most of this possible. And she, the Lady of Bone, motions a thin, ghastly hand to the armies and the people who are moving around the graveyard. She has kept hundreds and hundreds of bodies safe and resting where they belong, and she will keep your brother there as well. It is the simple act of returning souls to me, and then we raise them and let them wander. How do you do that? Necromancy, my How do you return the souls to you? Well, you didn't see the runes on her bow, perhaps. Everything it kills returns its soul to my hand. After that, put it in the body. Let it wander. Let it protect those who have need of protection. Like who? Anyone, really. Anyone that has passed in here. That is our job, our duty to them. In my realm. Who do they protect? The body. They protect the ones who have been laid to rest. But they never get laid to rest, do they? Many do. Only the ones that are returned to my hand get laid to rest. We don't touch the ones who have already been buried. Anyone who incurs a debt, well, they might get returned. Anyone who is brought here unwittingly gets returned. But those who have been laid here, they rest here. Simply circumstance. In the same way that Whitlock's brother rests, your brother will rest. I'll do it. It's my brother, and you don't deserve it. Thanks. Point. I don't want any of my friends to have the same debt I do. Maya, what do you owe her? Hmm, yes. This isn't a natural art, but it's the most beautiful one. Giving the body a new purpose beyond death, is that not a noble cause? And you would ask the same thing of your army? I would. If the group is not willing to shoulder the debt of fair burial, your army wishes to exact the price, then a thrall she shall be. Everything that she slays will return to my hand. What if you have a thrall that doesn't kill? Not my problem. Everything. Everything dies eventually. I'll do it. Hmm. I, that's not your that's not yours to carry. Then no, every fallen leaf and every blade of grass you pl- crush will return to my hand. Everything you kill returns to my hand. But if that is the price you're willing to accept, so be it. I, I'll do it. I, you should not 
Courier, fetch the brand. Iridin, you know. The courier returns. It's okay. Small brand. No, you do, you do not deserve hand. this. It's not okay. And I never liked killing anyways. Maya, the brand that you received was on your lower spine. It's just a small scar with the same insignia that the valley had. And the courier plunges it coldlessly, kind of clacking its bone, its bone teeth together. And brings it over when it's glowing hot. This will only hurt a little. But after that, the deal will be completed. And As the courier brings down the brand, I will reach her hand out Ooh. between the brand and the brand. Okay. okay. So the brand <laughs> hits your hand, and you guys smell the scent of charred flesh. Maya, you have received two deaths. Why did you do that? I'm not letting any one of my friends incur the same debt that I did. Very well. Two counts have been applied to Maya Whitlock. Maya, my dear, you will serve me in death as you have served me in life. Let it be known that when Maya Whitlock dies, she will retain her... She will retain not her soul, but her body. And that said soul will be returned to me, in which I will place it back into you. And you will continue hunting the same way you have before. You didn't have to do that. We're all killers. I would rather serve in death as I do in life than to see any one of you three have the same death I do. I would do anything for an excuse to stop killing. And this would have given me that. The courier is still standing nearby, Maya. And it's... Smiling an open-faced smile, you can see the yellow bone is kind of spread out in a ghastly grin. Well, Maya, you have made a gallant sacrifice, and perhaps a little reward is in order. The courier will uh, return you to your brother, and you'll see him safe at rest, should you wish. It has been a pleasure meeting with you. I can't wait to see you again soon. Can I punch her? <laughs> oh, you can. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? <laughs> I rolled a 19 to punch her. <laughs> alright, alright. We're all just gonna We're punch her. So you go back and you, you whiff. I just whiff. And she just shrugs it off. My hands right. are shaking really bad. And Yurani, you come up and boom! And you're. Your knuckles crack as you hit bone. Your honey, I love you so much. <laughs> as you remove you mean so much face, to me. she she pulls out a small blade and <laughs> plunges it right into your shoulder. Uh, uh. And you can feel the blood trickling out, and there's a burning, stinging sensation. And she just goes in and <laughs> pulls it and shoves it back, puts it back. Any in damage? The no damage. Well, justice is served, Rathra. Shut up. <laughs> are you going to punch her? Too? I don't need to punch her. <laughs> we already did that. <laughs> you, you only well, handled that. My, uh, your, your friends are starting to grate on me a little bit. Well. So I understand. The it's, the, it's the tenacity of the living. I, I understand, really. It's the same urge that I feel in life that I am suppressing death. But, it is as it will be. How sad for you. Tragic, really. And after that, the lady goes back to picking her flowers. You should look into some skin grafts. You get a little loose. You need moisturize. <laughs> Honey. I can recommend some gray lotions. So, the lady has gone back to picking her flowers. Completely as if you never appeared. Um, and the courier still stands nearby, waiting to ferry you to your brother. I, before... Okay, so you still have, like, a burn on your hand, right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna heal... I'm gonna, like, wrap that, like, bandage. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna just go over and just... 
give Maya a hug. And just a real, real good hug, just. That was really stupid of you. That, that was incredibly stupid of you. I know you're trying, I know what you're, I know you're, you don't want to burden us. Um, we would all take it for you. Like I said, we're all killers. Thank you. Some of us. Nothing makes us different. Have you been following the courier? Yes. Okay. Are we all going to the I assume so. Well, yeah, because we're talking to mine. Yeah. Uh, so you find your way out of the graveyard, toward the furthest end of it. No, not what you came in, but the higher end. The air has a slight chill, and the ground has been coated in frost. Near the very edge of the graveyard, amongst the drips of snow and wilted pines, is a single grave with a small headstone that you instantly recognize, Maya. Though the headstone is a new addition, the plot is that of which you buried your brother upon, and it bears his name. Morgan. What's his name? Mm-hmm. Braden Whitlock. And next to it, there is a new plot with a new headstone. It says Malachi, Astri- uh, Malachi Rastry. I think that uh, and that is a good place to end for the day. What do you think? Yeah, I just your eye just puts a hand on my shoulder. Okay, I just I already want I want to say one thing. All right, go ahead. Maya, you're only human, more or less. You shouldn't have done that. You don't know what forever is. Your life is so short. Your life is short too, compared to what's back there. Yeah. And the other guy from before. God, he's the dwarf. Well, even that's short. How many years would I say I, I got from him? Uh, 150. How old are you? He's not a hundred. You're not a hundred? No, I'm like a hundred fifty. Oh, well, he was about a hundred fifty, so. He's pretty good. He ain't special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he was human. Yeah, I'm pretending to be human. Uh, that's different than being human. Wow. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just cut to the chase. We all know you're an elf. It's yeah. pretty obvious. Oh, gee. They told me back in Hillstop. Yeah. Like, in yeah, I told them a lot. I'm honestly pretty impressed that you figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... I'm not... In, you, I mean, being around you for long enough, we sort of figured it out. Yeah, it's more of a disguise for, like, when people see me. For the first it's time. It's not really a long-term thing. <laughs> Fair enough. Usually, I didn't really know how to keep how to keep it up with people that I was like, I don't sleep. It's hard to hide that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can see in the dark. It's you do a lot of uh, twisting and turning in your bed. Yeah, I try. I try so hard to pretend to sleep, but then it's for four hours, and then there's four entire hours yeah, of just get, awake. Yeah, you get bored, right? <laughs> yeah, it's so boring. Can I not do that anymore? Um, you can do it every time. Oh, thank God. If you don't mind me asking, what was he like? If you don't want to talk about it, get it. I trust me, I get it. He was... He's really the only other person I have it until I met you three. We... I... He was the one who helped us survive. He didn't see 
going to happen to your soul? I don't know. Well, this has been swell. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, that is a great dour note to end on. Yeah. Awesome. Fun time. We're all crying. We're all having Are you a good time. <laughs> really I, I... Awesome. Hello, this is Johnny from The Moth Company. Thank you guys for showing your support and watching to the end of this video. Everything that you do really means a lot to us. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. Perhaps comment what your favorite moment was or something else that you'd like to insert about the episode. And please hit the subscription button down below. Every little thing really helps and we love bringing you guys great role-playing game content from our home to yours. That being said, take it easy and may all your roles be 20.